This is an intro to logic video on negations and double negation. And in this video, we're just going to go over the two simple terms, negations and double negation. So to begin, the negation of a sentence is simply the sentence with a not in front of it. And we're going to represent a not or the word not with a tilde. So for example, here we have the sentence, I like cheese. Let's represent this assertion with the letter C. And now if we're asked to give the negation of the sentence, I like cheese, we would simply add a negation or a not sign in front of the C. So now we have not C. And this can be represented by the sentence, it is not the case that I like cheese. Or perhaps an easier way of stating it, or more colloquially, we'd say, I do not like cheese. So not C is equivalent to both of these sentences. These sentences mean the same thing, they're just written in different forms. If you're ever unsure of how to say a sentence with a negation in front of it, I recommend just resorting to saying, it is not the case that. You can always throw that in front of a sentence to negate that sentence. Moving on to double negation, also represented by DN, here we have another rule of inference. According to this rule, you can add or remove two negations from a sentence. So for example, imagine that we go back to our sentence, I like cheese, which is represented by the letter C. According to double negation, if I have the letter C or the sentence, I like cheese, represented here on my first or one of my lines in my argument, I am allowed to use that line and add or take away two, double, or two negations. So according to double negation, I can take line one and add two negations to the letter C, to sentence C. So now I have one DN. I label the line I used and the rule of inference, which in this case is double negation. So we can just write out all of the ways that we could use double negation. Imagine that we have not not P Double negation allows us to go from not not p to p. If we have not 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 p, we can go to not p, right? So we've removed two negation signs in both these cases. If I have p, I can add on two negation signs and end up with not not p. And if I have not p, I can add on two negation signs and end with not 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 p. So here are all of the general forms of how we are going to see and use double negation. It's a pretty simple rule, but it's one that's very important, so make sure you keep it in mind as we move on to more complicated proofs. In this video, we've been introduced to the terms negations and double negation. This has been an intro to logic video on negations and the rule of inference double negation. Be sure to check out our other videos at introtologic.com.